boom we're live and i just gotta set this thing up to make sure everything is fine on. all right there we go it's right there behind me hey everybody welcome i see that a lot of people were here with me today you guys were waiting for me to come online so here we are back online all right so here we are back at our uh, industrial interior house this is where we stopped previously and actually no uh, where we stopped was we were making our sofa we finished up the sofa it looks like this so far let me just hide this thing and really quickly just prep up some of the stuff that we have for the industrial room and where is it let's just find our sofa yeah it was this one we're trying to create this one we made the seating here wait what my mic is silent let me see can you guys hear me how do I sound now better worse same Something's really, really weird here. How's the sound? A little better? Hello? Alright, let me hear something then. Alright. I guess it's... I don't know. I have to deal with this thing later. Uh, every time Windows decides to update, it kind of screws with my settings, but eh, it's fine. Anyways, as I was saying, this is what we have. And this thing only requires just a little bit of uh, like uh, playing around to make it uh, perfect. Because as it is right now, this is straight out of uh, Marvelous Designer. And what I want to do here is quite simply just add in the corners where this thing meets. Now, generally, I would not leave this uh, with this sort of a geometry. I would definitely go ahead, import the 2D, then um, make sure that I have proper quads, make them uh, conform to what we have here. But in this case, we don't need it. We're just going to use this thing for visualization. So what I'm going to do is select everything here and control click on the vertex, select all the vertices, weld them together. Very small amount, just so that they cap. Select the edge and now with the chamfer, a very small amount. Well, not chamfer, but extrude. My bad. So with the extrude, a very small amount on the uh, width like minus or 0 0.3 with minus 0. Point, uh, I don't know 0 0.05 something like this so what this is gonna do is give me an edge here like this so if I put a turbo smooth on top of it now I can see that this thing kind of looks when you take a look at it from the side it looks like it has that uh, middle part but honestly though I probably should make this thing a that bit more on the inside so minus maybe 2 0 0.2 there we go now with the turbo smooth on yeah I get a much more pronounced look and generally definitely what I want to have so and the isolate there we go much better now what I'm going to do is go in here, isolate this thing and slowly start to get all of these detached as uh, individual elements. So that one over there, this one over there, and this one. We're basically doing the same thing like we did with the first one. We just have to have it on all of these. There we go. Same exact thing. Select the border, select all of them, control click on the vertex, weld them together, put a very small amount, and 
extrude again minus 0 0.3 and width of 0 0.03 like this click OK click turbo smooth and we get that I'll just continue it over on this side now one of these I just want to make sure that all of them are selected properly because if they're not we could end up with a bit of a problem no no problem so minus 0 0.3 0 0.03 there we go turbo smooth on and as you can see now they're starting to look really really nice on the corners and the edges are looking fine there are no problems everything is going as planned so let's finish up these guys so select this make sure everything is selected on every side control click a bit of a repetitive work but still it has to be done there you go extrude 0 0.03 with minus 0 0.3 and a turbo smooth oh just one turbo smooth there we go two more select all click you see this is the funny thing whenever I'm making a tutorial on something these are all the steps that you never get to see me do because I like to edit them out but in a live stream there is no way to edit anything out so everything I have to do you guys get to see minus 0 0.3 all right there we go turbo smooth on that's fine And the last one. Select all the edges. Control click. Get all of them welded. Select and extrude. Ah, okay, so it's the last one always. So 0 0.3. Now 0 0.03 minus uh, this thing is like this is uh, what I was kind of <laughs> hoping would not happen but for some reason max sometimes likes to do this it will slow down and generally this is going to give me some artifacts I'm pretty sh yeah, yeah there we go artifacts so if I go ahead and turbo smooth this thing, it's going to look a bit jaggedy on the edges. Everything else is fine. But once we put any uh, type of uh, texture on top of it, that thing will be gone. So now I'm going to actually go ahead and save this thing. So sofa number two and there we go now generally before I ship this thing off I would go in and do a bit of pushing and pulling just so I make sure that I have everything in the right place so let's use the soft selection for that select this whole thing move it inwards a bit so it kind of fills in that gap Everything else is fine here. Maybe move this thing a bit on this side. Here is, it's fine, no, no problem. There is nothing clipping there, that's fine. That's cool. This front piece here though, I might want to move it all up a bit like that. And there we go. I actually do like the way that this thing uh, looks like because it kind of gives me that uh, look like somebody was sitting down and they got up.
because this thing uh, has that detail here this thing has that same detail and just so I can look at this better the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna use a texture for this and yeah, I'm gonna use one of my textile textures so just in the diffuse so I can see how this thing looks I want to select these guys all of them oh wait a second what why am I, why am I seeing this do I have the yeah selection zone Two, three, four, five, and six. Apply. And there we go. Looks cool. The unwrapping is fine, no issues. I can see the corners here well, so everything is fine. All right, so now we were looking at this uh, sofa here. This thing is made out of a uh, Oh, what is this? It's a black leather. So, yeah, we can use it as a black leather. Just wanted to see how this thing is. So let me just go ahead, drop another texture. So just so it's visually more appealing and more down to what we are trying to achieve. So let me see if I get this thing. Yeah, this will work. Black leather diffuse. Tiling. Okay, so this is not the best leather that I have. So let's try a different one. Yeah, much better. Decrease the tiling to two, 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 by two. And it's fine. This one is okay. I can uh, choose a different color if I want to later on. For now, I just wanted to see if this thing actually works right. And it does. And here, for some reason, I can see that I got some issues. That means that this thing, whatever happened to it, it didn't weld. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> Let me just see something then. course it won't work from the first time because if it did it would have been everything would have been nice everything would have worked but instead it has to do this okay let me do something else then I'm gonna do is open up the first don't save this now let me try one more time just for this piece and if this thing works I'm just gonna export this and merge it with the other one. Like every time that I do this, if I don't do the proper geometry, this thing will do the same thing. I mean, every single time this, there has to be one piece that will screw up everything else. So, okay, select that, select the whole thing, extrude 0 0.3. 0 0.03 and minus 0 0.3 and this is what kind of bothers me I just did the same exact thing like I did it previously but in this case works perfectly the other uh, case it did not want to work <sighs> all right export exports side all right back to this one don't save now select this delete import and import the thing that I just exported out of the first version, which is basically the same exact thing, but 
for some reason Max decided to not work in this case and work in the other case so export side import FBX okay and what the actual hell just happened where is the other thing uh, unhide all all right I guess I have to do it manually if I do it manually it's gonna be what exactly then industrial exports side all right import the file I have to export this as an OBJ. Is that it? Detach. Don't you guys hate it when you have to do something like this? Like everything you are doing, you're doing it right, but for some reason it just doesn't want to work. Two, three, minus zero point three. All right. And the isolate control R delete everything. Gonna save this thing up. Industrial sofa 03. And now I'm going to merge everything in the second version. Because if this doesn't work, then we're going to have a problem. All right, merge. Ah, there we go. So now align this thing to this. There we go. So move it on the Y negative minus 10, select this, Y positive 10 back in this position, and there we go. So you guys are going to get the double, there we go. Now everything is working just fine, just like it should have done at the beginning, but for some reason stuff like this happens and when this thing happens you just have to like deal with it so off selection will just move back in there we go that's fine select the two on the bottom move them up a bit like so and we're done well almost Yes, it would be better if I can select these guys a bit. There we go. Looks a bit like it has some tension here, which is nice. There we go. All right, cool. So, save this thing. And the only thing that we do need to have for here is just this thing going across. So we got the pipes going to the bottom. All right, so what is this? One on the bottom, two on the bottom. Goes across, goes over. Does it go behind it as well? Yes, it does. Okay, so let's quickly add in those pipes. Easiest way to add it would be to just isolate this, uh, create a box. Now this box is going to basically help me define where I'm going to have those pipes. So select this, this thing going to go up to here, so you can see where that, where that thing ends. That's fine. So one would be about uh, 
I'm just looking at this thing to see how well it's going to be. Okay, so we're going to have one over here, another one over here. Those are the ones on the bottom. One in there. Right, another one in there. All right, now let's see. I want to get this thing going across. Deselect these two, this one and this one. So those are going to be the ones in the bottom. So create a shape. Linear is fine. Create one more. For the bottom, create a shape, create one more going across, not from the top, one more over here, so create one more shape out of this. And what we are left with is, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, pretty much the thing that I needed. Probably this should go up a bit. So snap it to. Oh, okay. Snap it there. Two and three. Isolate these like so. And now what I want to do is attach these two over here on both of these. Just get weld these ones are not needed so delete that's fine now for the fillets here every place that where we have this thing uh, making a turn i'm going to select all of those hit the fillet fillet is going to be what all right, about seven centimeters. All right, rendering, make it renderable. Make it a bit thicker. There we go. Three is fine. Now let's do the same thing over here. I know I have the fillets for seven. Uh, delete both of those, not needed. Same thing, fill it seven centimeters. Enable viewport renderer, three centimeters radius, and yeah. Okay, awesome. So now the only thing that I need to do is create the middle parts, which is basically just like piping connections. So for that one, before I do anything else, I'm going to select here, so one in there, one in the middle, two in the middle, three, and four. Ring, control click on the polygon and grow, grow. Maybe just move it one more time, detach that. And on the corners, I do want to have a detachment as a clone. Now select the detached clone, make it a shell. And give it a chamfer of minimum angle, let's say 50, amount of 0.1 and a turbo smooth. There we go. So now I just need to control this thing with the shell. So let's go 0 0.3, maybe a tad bit more. Okay, maybe a bit more. Yeah, that's gonna work so the corners are fine i will have to make something for 
the middle parts, but that's not an issue. We've actually done that same thing for what we have already in our kitchen. So I can maybe even take some of the couplings from there. There's no need to like go ahead and remodel that same thing over here as well. So if I open up my thing now, I can see that it looks fine. I will have to create something for the legs. So let's just give this thing a different color. All right, that's fine. Select these guys. Ah, fudge. Just turn off the soft selection. I want it to look per uh, the way it does. So there we go. No more orangey look. Give it the same grayish color. And there we go. So now for these ones, I could probably even get away by. No, not really. If I move that thing, it's going to screw up with my... Well, no, it won't. There is no geometry in there. So what I can do here is go in from the left side, select everything, and just move it upwards so it's in the right place like this. All right, awesome. Now for this, I will need to add in a couple of more pipings for the bottom but for that we will just need a t junction and i do have that in the scene so we'll take it from there so all i gotta do is just save this thing as an industrial sofa 02 open up my industrial scene i'm going to take in my sofa and merge it with that scene now and see how this thing looks there we go all right, let's make a new layer. So do we have a furniture layer? No, we don't. Let's create a new layer, call it furniture. Import the sofa merge file. Not the best way to do it, but whatever. So merge everything into the furniture. No, not create, but we're when this thing happens furniture add to active layer that's fine and boom we got our sofa to put it anywhere we want The design thing will be a different uh, thing to tackle, but for now, this thing looks okay like this. Oh, I don't have a T over here. We do have one over here. I should, yeah, I do have a T coupling. So I can just take one from these guys. All right, so open up this group. All right, copy it over here group detach group close there we go so now I can use this thing over on my sofa rotate around move it down to here Little poly. Just scale it inwards on all axes. There we go. Close enough. Go ahead, center to object. Turn off the turbo smooth. Align it there. Ah, it's damn near perfect. Okay, turbo smooth on. We got the coupling for one of these. One more on this side. Both of these go over here as well. Right, 
right now let's just see if this is the right place for them yeah it is it's fine so if i got that thing going on and i got these guys as well the only thing that i need is just a small pipe to go on to the in the bottom and that small pipe can actually be taken out of these guys so what i'm going to do is delete the turbo smooth from all of them make them all just into one element and then put one turbo smooth for all of them but at the same time before i do that what i'm going to do is select all of these borders Hold on shift drag it down once control click select this that's fine so detach turbo smooth on for this and now i can reuse uh, these guys as the actual legs for this thing it will go in side a bit and for the bottom here that's fine just one well actually not there but let's edit on all sides connect two segments pinch it apart ring 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 and ring control click extrude upwards locally smaller amount like five maybe all right that's fine i just test it out one more time and see how this thing is going to work well first of all let me see where the turbos move on hmm interesting you know what even though it kind of looks a bit like horns <laughs> uh, let's just not be lazy and add in one more edge over here it's not going to kill us it's going to make this thing better so connect that's fine turbo smooth on right now is going to give me a different uh, result oh no Well, the curse of the stream continues. Every stream, Max loves to crash. <sighs> well, the good thing about this is that usually when Max crashes like this, it auto saves and the auto saves gets me back to about one step before it crashed. So. It should work, hopefully. recover let's see how far it gets me back like I said it usually gets me back uh, at least like one step uh, before it crashed so generally max does yeah like I said very very good job at doing that sort of crashing if that makes any sense having said that max is really good at crashing there we go Let me just add in some very, very, all right, ungroup this thing. 
make this thing whole as one element. Just call this sofa. Again. All right. Let's give it just uh, some placeholders for materials so I, I know at least what uh, everything is. So for this one, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna just use the same uh, textures I did previously for the leather on this one. So for this one, let's go leather mm, here. Open up the group. Apply it to all of the cushions. Boom. Make it visible as an actual leather. All right. Uh, increase the tiling to maybe like three by three. I guess it's a smaller thing. It's fine. For this one, I will want to have at least something that resembles wood. So let's add in something like this. Maybe a light version of this, but whatever. Just need to have something like a wood. UV map box. So let's go 100 by 100 by 100. Make it visible. There we go, like this. All right, so now close the group. At least I know these guys will be fine like this. I do have some UVs. These are made, put them there. Later on, we can screw around with textures if we want. All right, so we got, we finally got our uh, bed in here. Everything is uh, working semi-functionally. Now, this is what we need to do. We need to decide what else we're gonna put in our scene. Like we got this bed uh, with the picture with the bed. We had some uh, similar types of uh, tables, but I don't really want to make another one that's going to be basically just box modeling with the same approach for this thing. I could do something like that in a separate video maybe, or maybe even make a tutorial on how to create something like this, but I don't want to do it on the live stream because it's just going to be more of the same what we did for this thing. So for the industrial room, let me see what else can we add. What do you guys think? What should we add? I do have the streaming related option open. I can see you guys have posted a bunch of stuff in here. I just need to see when was this thing posted. But holy crap, you guys have really posted a lot of things. When though, when was this thing posted? Today, okay, so. I guess you've done quite a bit of research on this. Sad man, sad. <laughs> Get the look. All right, this is a uh, really nice and cool addition. Looks interesting. Some rustic uh, or rusty lamps. Nice bit of lighting, really hard on the industrial look. Very cool. Here's some more of that look with the pipings and everything. Hey, this is an interesting idea. I actually like this. See this, it's a trunk that can double down as a table. Industrial room, idea 22. All right. Oh, dude, that's a clock. Cool. Here's some more furniture. The same thing with the pipes. Eat. Well, it's you guys who are going to choose what we do. So you can see, everybody can see what's up on the Discord. If you got any ideas, 
feel free and share them and let's choose something to do. Oh, cool. This is nice. This is some de decor for the walls. Kind of looks really nice. Oh, a hanger made out of pipes. This is not bad. A lot. There's a lot of details that can be made out of stuff like this so if we go really heavy on the decor with uh, stuff like this as you can see we can make it out. what the hell was that gang of ninjas is now following holy crap I, that thing always scares the crap out of me I don't know why I need to find a way to make that thing more silent All right, I mean, you guys tell me what would you like to see? What are we gonna make? Come on, I, I wanna have some people chat with me, leave your comments. I wanna hear some ideas as to what we're gonna be making now. This is what we have. We have pretty much an empty room in which we only have just one bed or this one sofa. So there's plenty of things to do. What do you guys want to see? I like the idea of... Where is it? Yeah, the trunk that can double down as an actual table. But then again, this is not going to take that much time to finish. So, yeah, we can make this thing in like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. Not a problem. But I want to see what you guys think. And while you guys are thinking, I'm going to choose a few of these and give you a choice then. All right, so the first one is going to be this idea. Now let me see which ones I like also. This I hate. I hate these. I know because I've sat on chairs similar to this one uh, in different cafes. And these ones are extremely uncomfortable than when they're made out of wood. If they're made out of metal, this will feel like your ass is sitting on a metal shredder. I don't know who would be insane enough to sit on these, but these look uncomfortable as hell. I would not make that thing. Mm -mm. What is this one? Oh, it's a lighting fixture. Cool. Construct something which has retopology to learn. Well, you know what? That would be so much better if you can actually tell me what that something would be like or something that would fit those criteria. Oh, okay, you're, you're getting safe as well. Twenty-three. Believe it or not, the hardest thing of making videos for YouTube is getting uh, some ideas as to what to make. <laughs> All right, so this is what we have at the moment as a choice. The first one is this one. The second one is this one. I actually like this thing as a lighting and this thing can double down as a table. So you guys get to choose. If you want to make this uh, table thing, just type in one or press in table. If you want to go with the light, just type in light or press two. Vote now and let's see what we make.
All right, we got two, one and two, 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 three, none of the above. Light. Shinoda, give me some ideas, man. I see a lot of uh, everybody, almost everybody's up for this thing. And if you go, guys don't like either of these, do give me an idea. Drop your idea over here. So because right now it's only the sad man. And you know what they say. No one likes the sad man. No one wants to be the sad man. All right. Uh, she knows to start searching. Everybody else start searching as well. And while you guys are searching, I'm going to make uh, short work out of this thing. And we can actually reuse this thing maybe on a couple of uh, places. So it's not really that complicated. It's going to be easy. So let's go for it. All right, so this thing, let's save first, then. Also, we can uh, take these and maybe hang them around the place. So it's going to be more interesting. Reset, yes. Okay, now for this one, let me just, mm, you know what? Yeah, I'm going to do it that way. So for this, let me just see how big this thing is. Details was 508. So front. Five oh point eight. 42.3. One by one. Zero, 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 J, U, and put that thing in, put this thing over here, show it like this, move it backwards, G, and all right, go, first of all, press just J to get rid of those selection brackets, object, freeze, Show from zoom gray off. And there we go. Now we can start working on this thing. And what does it have? It has one, two, three, four, five, six, more or less. Six means 12. All right, so 12 sided cylinder for this thing would work just fine. So, like this radius. All right. Rotate around 90. So I go by 12. Okay. Edit poly. One in the middle. This one goes up to here. Select the top. Select the bottom select this one all the way up to here inward like this select this scale it in like that like so one more over here scale it outwards like so and now what I can do since I do have 12 sides and I only need to have six what I can do is select one, skip one, select one, skip one. And every time I do this, I know that there is an option that I can do this manually over in the drop down menu, but I always do this. All right, so create the shape. Mm, we can make this thing smooth or linear. Smooth will give me a different result. Something like what I can see here, which is all right. Then I'm going to need another one that's going to be over here. So create shape, smooth is fine. And one here on the bottom, create shape, smooth is fine. I can delete this. And well, before I do that though, let's get one more up on here. So create shape, smooth. 
and now we can delete this and what we're left with is what we have over here now for this one uh, the bottom here as I can see it's kind of twirled in so for that I can either try to get this thing to model in that manner which is refining this and then moving this around so a couple of more refining So now when I turn on the renderable, it's going to be a lot smaller. And of course, this thing will not be the right position, because why would it be? yourself into a smooth transition there we go All right, smooth smooth refine okay What's the thickness of this thing is radial 0.1. Same thing over here, but instead of that, just put it 0.1. Enable the render viewport. There we go. That's fine. Same thing all over here, 0.1. Is this thing on the outside? Yes, it is. So that means I need to push this just a tiny bit so it kind of gets out of here. So push. Oh, hell no. Uh -uh. So make it like this. So push it now. Really? All right. Where's the. No. Uh, damn it. I have to do it this way then. Just get in here and offset this thing outwards like so. But now I would have to go in and reset the X form. And put it to enable the spline. There we go. Now it's work. It's working, no problems, and that's it. The top, same thing. Oh, like the one on the bottom. Also, what I can see is that in here there is no such thing as the one on the bottom. So what I can do is just skip all that twirling and whirling, make it like this. Now out of uh, this thing, uh, since this thing is done, I don't want to do the same thing all over. I'm going to drop a edit poly, remove these guys. Only one, two, three, four, five. And make this thing six, three, sixty, sixty. Go five copies. And there we go. Now it has that thing everywhere. Uh, isolate these guys. Make sure that all of these are attached together. And de isolate, select everything, give it a darker color. All right, so we got this, but from what I can see, the thickness is not right. 
Uh, Eck. All right, let me try like this then. 0.3. Yeah, 0 0.3 looks to be a lot better. But with the 0 0.3 done on this one, kind of defeats the rest. Because it's... Damn it. I'm going to have to do the same thing over, over again. So let's just go over 0 0.3. 0.3 and the top one 0 0.3 as well yeah this will work now again edit poly put in uh, actually select everything except this one rotate around by 60 and make five copies isolate everything attach it together and now I got this thing looking better or more or less like what it should look come to think of it it would be a really good idea to actually save now Go to the K, go to down to Twitch, Industrial, and Wire Lamp. All right. Now, we got that thing. Let's create uh, this piece. So for this one, let's just start off from the center. Now, first of all, turn the, these off. And again, start from the center. Go up to here, 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 here. Here, uh, actually go up to here. One and two. That's fine, go to make sure it snaps to there all right cool now I'm gonna go go and put a lathe modifier on this on the minimum now time to work around with this thing but let's try with a smooth modifier there we go that's going to give me some more geometry in there to play with the corners is fine this one could get a bit more geometry as well so we get smooth uh, these two can get a fillet like this all right awesome now the only thing that I want to do here is on top of this laid modifier drop in an edit poly oh wait a second just let's make sure we weld the cores we don't have any more issues to deal with that's fine and edit poly on top here and let's add in some details over here now I can see that in here I have this piece that has these holes so let's address that first of all I'm gonna make this like this increase this thing as a bevel so height local normal there we go add in a couple of supporting edges to make that thing as a bump All right, select this thing going across. Detach. All right, so now when I put a turbo smooth on, this thing looks uh, great. I just need to address uh, the issue that is over here. Now, how many holes is there in here? All right, well then, before I do that, let's 
and detach both of these. No, 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 no control C. Ah. All right, word of advice. I've actually had this thing happen previously. When you detach something and then you try to control Z back, Max will crash. Well, this stream has gone on for two crashes. Amazing. So I guess we're averaging out two crashes per hour. Not bad, not bad at all. Now, uh, it's gonna be an interesting thing to see how far back this thing is gonna bring me. Well, actually, it brought me exactly where I was hoping to be. Just put a turbo smooth on, and there we go. On top of here now, I can select this and detach. Well, actually, let's detach it as a clone now. So if I screw up something, I can get back to it. All right, where is my image? There we go. So this thing has one, two, three. So connect. And what I want to do here is select one, skip one, select one, skip one. And we'll see how this thing works. Skip. Select, skip, select, skip, select, skip, select. Right, and like this. All right, so with this thing, all I can do is just hit a chamfer, a certain amount. Let's try with 0 0.3. Okay, now, just so I don't need to get all across what I can do is just do this one there one there and once I actually get at least one of these guys off well I can simply delete the rest and copy it around that way even though right now it's still not perfect it will be We'll use the regularizer for this thing. So just let's do it on this side, like this. Now, right click, well actually, first of all, let's just, mm, yeah, let's do it like this. Select these guys, I have delete. Right click, regularize, so I'm gonna have some nice geometry over, oh, wait a second, before I do that, Let's do it like this. I don't want to have those things with some proper geometry. All right, that's fine now. Better select these guys again. Right click, regularize. So we got some nice geometry happening there. I just forgot this one. God damn it. 
whatever that's not going to be needed so what we want to do is now select this delete delete all right now delete all of this the center will stay in the same place so if i go ahead and just whoa whoa wait a sec wait a sec no 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 <sighs> the problem here is that this thing did not have the center placed in it because it's supposed to be like this center to object so now this thing needs to get the alignment pivot to pivot so now when it starts moving around I want to need how many copies that's a good question Exactly how many? 22 point whatever. All right, how many do I need of these is the good question. Let's go with 20 and see how far it gets. Ooh, no. No, 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 no. <sighs> Damn it, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I, I just played myself. <sighs> really quickly, redo the same thing again. I cannot go back because Max will crash on me again. That's why I need to freaking learn to save myself. So again, connect, one copy, and just need to have one, two, three four five that's it Actually, I'll just do it this way chamfer 0.3 let's try not to screw this one up again so cut 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 Cut, 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 cut. Oh. The great thing about the regularizer is that basically it allows you to have geometry like this where you have unregular geometry and it will straighten everything out now I'm curious to hear have you guys used uh, Rapa's tools for modeling regularize that's fine center move yep that's fine uh, the center is where it should be this <laughs> I want to save before I do anything else now I want to screw this one up Which industrial file. Yes. Yeah, well, yesterday I got off a call with Mike. He's actually the creator of Rapid Tools. He got in touch with me. So he's got some new stuff uh, he's cooking. So he actually wants me to make some tutorials on it. So if you guys would like, I can make some and share it with you guys so you can see what, what he is doing. Some of the stuff that he's making is quite, let's just say it's very, very, 
How big is this? 40, okay, 45 I can work with. Do we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Forty-five degrees with seven copies. Awesome. Now get the bottom off one. We move. Get this thing selected. Attach all of them together. Right. Get this. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Select everything. Vertex selection. And let's make sure we got everything welded right. Oh. 0 0.1. That's fine. All right, that's fine. Wait, what? Okay. Now, shift in and that's fine. Back to my selection. Actually, just with this done, just add a shell. Uh, 0 0.1 maybe or 0 0.02 or 3 by 0 they straighten corners out with chamfers and everything and let's see how this thing works with 0 0.01 uh, minimum angle 50 no Angle of 20, 30, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. So there's something definitely not right here. So I'm not using any shell. I'm just going to do this. Select this thing. Now for this, since I actually didn't add in anything new, I can delete this, attach it back like so with this, and here is going to have the same exact number of vertices. So you can weld this in a very, very small amount. So turbo smooth, and there we go. We got the geometry here that we have over here. Looks well, looks like it should. Uh, select this thing, select this guy, and row, row. Add in one edge there, one there, there, one there. That's going to give me enough geometry to make this thing like so. And we got the geometry done. Add in a different color. Hey, wait a second. This thing has that same geometry over here as well, just invert it. So if I can do this, I can maybe do this as well. So copy it down to yes. But instead putting this thing in here, what I can do is now with this, I can go down, select this thing and grow, 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 grow back till I get to all of the things that I don't need. Right. 
shrink once, delete. All right, so I will need this thing to be nearly to the ground because we do need to take into account that we have this thing sitting on the floor, but here it's the actual floor. So if I put it up here, Okay, so this ridge here is supposed to be touching the wires, like here. All right, cool. So now this thing needs to have something like the holder for the actual burner. Add one more, just collapse it in here. Add in some corners. I want to get this thing to actually be more rounded. Well, not this one though. This needs to be more sharp. So now when we put on a turbo smooth on top of here, we got this thing. And the only thing that I'm missing now is the actual glass bulb in this holder. For the glass bulb, really not that hard. Just use a uh, Sphere Start off from the center, flip it around 90, move it upwards until it's right into position. Increase the radius until it's flat where we need it to be. That's actually fine. Yeah, it kind of rests well in that place but still it doesn't need to be in there also. So I'm gonna go ahead, put an edit poly, select the bottom polygons over here, delete. Top polygons here are fine also. And let me just check. Yeah, it goes to about here. Uh, for the rest, I'm going to do this, detach as a clone, that's fine. Select this whole thing, delete it. Now the reason why I uh, detach this as a clone is I want to get this thing to be the housing, the metal housing that goes up. All right, that's cool. Make it a shell. Make it one, well, 0 0.1 maybe. All right, better. Uh, chamfer on top of that will help me with, let me just see. Mm. Why is this thing acting up like this? Because I need to be at this edge, 20, 0 0.01. The problem that I'm having here is that I kind of messed up on the actual size of this thing at the beginning. When we made this thing, I made it way too small. Should have made it a bit bigger. It would have made things so much easier. But like always, just meh. All right, for this, just give it a uh, small shell. Just so we set some thickness to this thing. Turbo smooth, make it see through. And we're fine with this. Okay, I got no idea how this thing is uh, made. So I'm just gonna go in like this and hopefully everything's gonna work out just fine. No, it's not. What, how the hell is... I got no idea how this thing is made, so I'm just going to improvise. Improvisation is going to be very simple. Select all of these, just make, make them smooth, so it kind of rounds up like that. In here... It's got to be some... 
and this probably probably is but since I don't have any idea how this thing uh, holds up here this is probably bound to have some sort of a clipping or yeah I see there is some sort of a clipper here but got no idea how that thing works so we're just gonna do something like this go fill it and just so I make it more easy for me I go 0 0.3 so we have some consistency on the actual wiring and for that I'm gonna do is just get over here use a circle a small circle like so on this side move it down center center selection all right right click smooth Yeah, that's gonna work it's at least functional all this thing over on this side really ah, of course it's not symmetrical damn it there we go edit poly go different color Add a poly, attach, attach, go different color. Nope. You're going to get a different color as well. And we got our light here. So it was an interesting way. It only took us like, what, 15 minutes to create it? Not bad. So save this thing and yep. Let's go back to our scene and see where we can put this thing. Wait a second. It's a good question now. Where is this thing the latest version or did I make one other? We'll see. have legs here yes we do okay so let me just resave this thing not as a recover but the actual scene industrial scene number three now drop in that a lamp we just created let me just find it mm -hmm. wire lamp File, new scene material, boom. Unfreeze all, delete that thing. Call this thing lamp. Pull it over and down to the actual active uh, layer. And now we're going to have to see how big this thing is. I think it's too small, but it might be actually okay sized. Hmm. It's actually not that small. Oh, it just dawned on me. What I can do is do something like this. What if I actually get this thing to scale up a bit, like so? And 
There we go. And now instead of having that light in there, like with the fire and the burner, why not just change that thing with a regular LED lamp? Wire these guys off with some uh, wirings and get me an improvised lighting system. Like maybe something like this. Three of these guys over here. Or to make it more interesting, what could be done is also instead of making them low, we can even put them up high here. So if we let them up from here, they're going to give us a really, really interesting uh, shadow. And it's going to go down. Let me just quickly do something like this then. If we go in, the shadows from the lights would be falling down. So if, for example, we took in any standard lights, drop in an Omni light. Uh, Um, about this position yeah see it's like I thought if we make it like this generally what you would get is throughout the entire room you're gonna get a lot of like interesting shadows coming from different places like for example if we do this uh, as an instance from two places this entire room is gonna get a very interesting look at least for lighting Especially all of those details are going to be coming from the light bouncing off from these guys. And we make this thing uh, intensity lower, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. This is going to give me a, so much detail in this room. It's really going to be fun. What if we make a couple of more? Like from maybe around lower. This will work. See, if we make it even down here, we're going to get a lot of overlapping shadows, a lot of soft shadows, which is going to make this room a hell of a lot more interesting. But yeah, I'm definitely going to keep those lights up here. As this is going to be a very, very interesting look. Cool. All right. So select those lights. I don't need them actually anymore. I just wanted to see how this thing would look because in my head, I could like see how this thing would, oh, wait a second, it has got a couple of more in here. But if I actually put some more, all right, let me see. We put in two more. Oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm loving this, especially because now, this thing is going to bounce off a lot of light back in here. So we're going to get a lot of this uh, look. This rustic look. It's going to give you a lot of emphasis on all of those small details in here. And for the, the bedroom, since we don't have any of these lights shining directly into it, they're not really going to be intruding that much. For the bedroom, we can probably just maybe if we put on something like uh, some sort of a target spot or a spotlight uh, in here from the wall going down. Let's just really, really quickly. I'm now curious to see how this thing is going to look. So having something on the wall here. Right, go back, maybe get it up to here, because like I said, I want to use all of these uh, support beams for something else as well, so why not lighting? Get some light in there, 
but instead of having it on the first beam, if we go over on the second, that's going to illuminate the whole bedside area, like from there. Even go up from above high. And yeah, this is going to give me quite a bit of uh, lighting here for the uh, for the bedroom. You can move this thing to something like this, and there you go. This will allow you to find whatever you're looking for. I'm actually liking this design for the lighting for this space. So let's just remove all of these and get back to creating stuff for a room. The thing that I was curious about actually, actually ended up looking really, really interesting. So back to standard. Delete this, delete that. And cool. All right. Back to designing more stuff for our room. What are we making next? We got ourselves some nice uh, uh, lights on a really, really interesting position. We're definitely probably, well, not definitely, but we're probably going to end up putting some uh, wall lights or as filler lights. So what else are we going to be uh, creating today? I'm going to check my stream uh, or the Discord. Let's see what you guys have posted. So a bunch of stuff. Ah. So here we go again with the pipe design. I actually like this because inside you have uh, one of those Edison bulbs. Kind of looks really interesting. It gives off that look like it's electricity. I got more. Well, the, the, this looks really, really, really unpractical. Just imagine you uh, go to bed in one place and then during the night you start like moving around, the bed starts rolling around and you wake up in the morning, you're in your neighbor's house. Doesn't work. Ooh. Hello. I like this one. It's very simple. All I can say is that in this scene, what's going to make it or break it is going to be the materials. Oh, wow. Whoa. What are these? What the hell are these? All right. Hmm. Well, hello. What do you guys think? Do we like this thing? Do we want to have something like this? All right, let me see, do I have enough information on this thing? So it has like, what exactly does it have? 3D, okay, so I'm guessing this is a 3D model, cool. Right, so it has no get away from me. One, two, three, six, four, maybe seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. I'm starting to think how this thing would be made. So it's one, two, three, four, five. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And ends up in the middle. All wood, cool. 
All right, why not? Why not? Hell, I got no idea how we're gonna make this, but we're gonna make this. We got nothing to go on except one picture. So, who am I to shy away from a challenge? Ah, let's go! Oh, hey, whoa, stop. Don't, don't do anything bad. Just save first. And once this thing is saved, now I can reset. And away we go. Boom. Bob's your uncle. Let's see. Uh, table size. Table size. What is this? Images. Well, actually, you know what? I'll be right back. I, I need a minute for myself. Gotta go to the bathroom. So, be right back, people. Stay here. Boom, we're back. Come on. Let's go. All right. Uh, table sizes. What is the height for a t regular table size that's actually not that big? So small, small, small sizes. Uh, let me just put this thing over here. And nor for people is too much. Really? There's no such thing. All right, coffee table sizes. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Not in inches. There we go. So, about 45, uh, the largest. So, 45, I can work with that. Okay, 45 for the size and uh, I'm gonna need a design for this thing. So 45 in height and size wise it's gonna be bigger. So let's first of all let's define the 45 and let's make it 100 meter but well not 100 meter but 100 centimeters so one meter by 100 uh, by one meter by the actual top size which is uh, 45 well actually that's the height it doesn't have to be the all width because i can see that the bottom here doesn't actually have uh doesn't span all the way down to the floor so 
what I want to do here is Fred J uh, and go in edit poly. First, I'm going to, like always, I define then I refine. So for the Z, uh, get this thing off the ground for 15 centimeters. That's fine. So that's about 30 centimeters in width. That's cool. Now, here's the thing. From what I can see in here, this thing basically is like it has this uh, cut in. And from here, I can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sided cylinder. So let's try it like this cylinder, go eight size. And now, since I know that thing is going to be in there, I will want to have this thing on the corner, like so. And we'll get all the way up to, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, three, four. Yep, this is the one. Okay, so edit poly and go cut from there to there. One, two, three, and four. Cool. Now, what I'm going to do is just take this guy out. Rotate it around. No. Rotate it around 90. Raise it up till it touches here. Zero. Well, actually, before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it like this. So 90. And the reason for that is so I can actually use this thing to move the vertices in the correct position. The correct position would be just to snap it on the actual size of the cylinder because I want this thing to be perfect. I don't have any problems later on. There we go. That's fine. Just move this thing back here as well. As such. There we go. And unhide all now remove this guy off move this thing to here snap it there it's actually fine on this side I just need to move it down a bit because from what I can see this thing does have that cut in, but it does actually have this flat space here as well. Which kind of tells me that I need to move that thing down. So now, go from there, cut from there to here, here, and there. The other side. I have no idea what it is, but I'm guessing if I would have to guess, I'm guessing it has the same cut in as this thing. So I can just rotate this thing one more time like this. And continue cutting. One, two, three, and go up to here, four. More or less, looks fine. Now, select these guys, chop it off. Let's do some connections here. One in there, connect this thing to this thing. This thing to here. The same thing over across from here goes across to here. Now the good question is, does this thing have? A no, it doesn't. Okay, so the bottom here is non-existent. It's going to be like this. So if we have this thing like so, I can just connect these two guys like so. 
and this over this side. Let's just straighten out some of the edges. One in there, another one in here. All right, make this thing in the middle. So just uh, get a set. So no. All right, so put it here like that. All right, cool. So by having this, now I can just add in a shell. The shell being on the inside, make sure we have the straight edges on. And more or less, this is gonna give me the outer shell of my table. So this thing here is the black uh, place here. So let's give it some chamfers to hold the form. Although I think that in here we're gonna need to have a bit more geometry to play around with this thing. But yeah, even as if I, even if I leave it like this, so this is just like wood that's being cut. It's fine. I don't have to add in the turbo smooth by adding in a lot of stuff. But yeah, yeah, not gonna deal with turbo smooth. Just do it like this. I do have the geometry on the edges to give me the bead of light that's gonna be seen. The cuts are fine. Now, uh, making the actual wooden piece in here. For this one, what I can do is, first of all, redo the same thing with the cylinders. From what I can see now, all of these are rotated cylinders and all of them are just keep getting smaller and smaller. So let's do the same thing here then. Again, I'm gonna create a cylinder. Probably should have kept the original one, but since that is gone, I'm just gonna have to make a new one. Since we really didn't uh, move too much of the size, and actually get it to be right fairly easy so radius increase the radius to maybe something like this all right so ah, let's go 37 that's fine now if i go in with a 25 and decrease the radius in. Okay. Now let's try and do this in this manner. Select this, control click on the edge, and create a shape. So hit a linear shape, and that shape will be done across. Now make this thing into a rectangular view like this make it thinner so let's go with maybe two two by two that's fine and since this is going to go upwards one i will have to bring it down minus one on the z just so i make it flat with the table and inwards Now let's just make it to 99%. That's going to make it 1% smaller or scaled in. Yeah, that's going to work. That that will work. Especially if I bring this thing back uh, out again. And then just go in and cut with the slide. All right, we can work with this. All right, so delete this for now. I'm gonna save first. So let's go in and twitch, 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 twitch. Geo table. Okay. 
Mm, that's fine. Now, before I start doing that, though, what I want to do is I want to create the actual sides for this thing. I did see that whoever posted this thing, yeah, there was some sides. So let's go in down over here, create some or copy some edges from here. Great shape. Linear is fine. Now pull this thing upwards and let's start melding it into shape. One in there, another one in here. So I need to move it on the X first. So X negative one. And then Y positive one. This will push it inside the table. Edit poly, we'll remove on the corners. Control backspace, check the edge. Yeah, like always, there is always that one thing. That's fine. So again, let's do the same chamfer that we did over here. So for this one, we use the 0.1. So let's use a 0.1 here as well. We got that thing done. Now let's add, let's go over here, select these edges. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Create the shape, linear one, that's fine. Wait a second, that's fine again. All right, so move it on the X negative one, minus one and positive one on the Y. So we move it inside the actual table. For some reason, I th think that it's kind of making a turn here. Yes, it is. So we need to fix that. There we go. It's no longer making a turn. Oh no, it's still making that turn. Okay, so it's fine, it's just the angle here, it's kind of weird. Well, you know what, let's just make it like this. Select this thing in here, select this, make it flat on the X. We we'll actually just have to select one by one, can't select both and make them flat. So flat on the X, you're gonna be flat on the Y, and this is gonna straighten out the whole thing. Flat on the Y. You're going to be flat on the X. All right, that's fine. I don't like the fact that it's really cutting so close to the edge. So I might move it uh, very for a very, very small amount inwards, just a tiny bit more. So it's just not clipping on the edge here. So let's go with a very small amount again. Well, actually, you know what, on the corner here, from what I can see, there is actually a corner piece over there. Ah, yes, there is. All right, that's going to make a lot things a lot easier because I don't have to make this weird turn. So 
this means that I can select this whole thing, chamfer it like this, open chamfer, and now I can just make this thing flat, make planar, oh, not that way. fine move thing, this thing down like so and that's better all right so for this and this cap these two and the same champ from here copy and paste yeah the same thing over here but I will need to move this thing a bit forward this thing will need to get here mm. probably should have done it in a different way but now it's too late. It's already done this way, so let's just try to salvage what we have. What do you mean two hours go fast? Whoa, 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 it's almost six. Wow, all right. I did not see that happen. All right, then. Well, I gotta freaking save everything then. All right, we got most of this thing saved up here. That's fine. All right, save this thing up here. All right, cool then. Uh, next stream, we will continue making uh, more of this. So I guess we're out of time for today. But honestly, today we actually did manage to create quite a bit. We made some uh, modifications to our beds. We made some lighting. We played around with a bit with this table and well we even saw how the light would look in our scene so yeah this is gonna be interesting anyways since it's already six which means we've been going on for what is this two hours yeah wait what what is the but no difference between clone and element when you detail what i mean the difference between clone and element wait you mean uh when i actually work like this and i select something let's say like this thing and i hit detach if i make it as a clone this thing will make it a separate element if I, for example, let's say do this, I put it over here and clone it as an element. This thing is still part of the same object. So if I move the first one, the second one will follow, but I can select it as a different element. You see where it says element. This is the element thing. So if you detach this thing as an element, it's still part of the same object. If you detach it as an object, it's a separate object. Very simple. Anyways, I would like to thank everybody that was with me today. We had uh, quite a bit of fun. Uh, to anybody who has already bought the lighting tutorial, I would like to thank you. Anybody who's still considering buying it, link is uh, below. And you can see that thing is right 
behind me. It says V-Ray Lighting Course, info in the bottom. And I guess that would be it for today. To the next stream, we'll continue making more stuff about this scene. I would love to see you guys come back. We're going to have some fun. And in the meantime, I'm actually going to play around with uh, the things that I just told you from uh, that I got from the guy that makes uh, rapid tools. So once I actually figure out how his new stuff works, I'll make some videos about that thing so you, you guys can see it. We actually spoke with him. He's a really cool guy. And yeah. Anyways, once more, thank you everybody for being with me. I love doing this and that would be it for today so as i always say in the end of every of my streams peace